So this is an example of how to use astrotometry to forecast um, the formation of hurricanes. And I wanted to go ahead and uh, supplement the video that I made before. Um, the National Hurricane Center here in the United States has issued the following statement um, that Hurricane or Tropical Storm Norbert is strengthening off Mexico's southern Pacific coast and could become a hurricane in the next 24 hours. And since I introduced this concept after Hurricane Ike, the sun has been very quiet and although the water in the seas has been very warm, uh, we haven't seen a lot of hurricanes forming. And there have been a few magnetic knots recently that I think are the source of this particular uh, activity. And so based on what I've seen from these knots, particularly this knot, turned into a spot very briefly. I don't think that the solar scientists are going to officially call it a spot, but it already started evaporating. And I think that in a couple days, uh, Norbert will follow. I don't think that it's going to turn into a full-fledged hurricane with any significant cyclonic activity. And so um, that's an example of using astrotometry. Um, it's possible that I don't have the right mark. It's possible that this isn't the correct um, uh, associative thing. It could be on the other side of the sun right now. I don't think so though. I think this is it. If this is the associated event, if this is the astro astrotometric translation of that particular event, as I, I suspect it is, then, or it's Tropical Storm Norbert now, um, might become a hurricane technically. It might technically get hurricane force winds. I don't believe it's going to develop an eye, and I don't believe it's going to have the cyclonic movement that is associated with um, with a hurricane. The formation of the eye and, and the cyclonic activity is really associated with an ejection. The theory is that the, the cyclone itself, the spinning of the cyclone itself, requires an ejection. And so the spot isn't enough, really, to make, to make a, 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 a hurricane form um, that will uh, do a significant amount of, well, spinning. Um, so that's, that's the other thing, and, and if, the, if the spot is irregular, if it's an irregular spot, then, or, if, or if, it's in, in, if it's really, really close to another spot, if it has, you know, a, if it has a, a, a geometry about it, if the spot has a geometry about it that's not just a circle, then um, it can interfere. The, 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 pattern, of the, the pattern of the winds um, will interfere, and so it doesn't, doesn't get that same type of cyclonic activity. And so that's another thing to watch out for if you're trying to if you're going to try to use uh, this method. This is a very interesting uh, time to be doing this because uh, we're at the solar minimum, and normally the um, the sun is way too tumultuous to be able to associate particular events with their associated um, formations on Earth. And so this is a perfect time to be able to create a map or try to understand better what's going on. As I think of more things to, uh, to add to this, I'll try to post them as responses to this video. Take care.